Thank you for joining McCormick Systems in video number three, Takeoff. Today we're going to be learning about basic takeoff procedures. What we see here is our basic takeoff screen. In takeoff you have three different windows. The left window here is your database window. And in your database window you have items and you have assemblies. So these are your two databases. As you can see I have an items database there and as I scroll down with the mouse you can see I have thousands of items within my database ready to go I also have an assemblies database when I click on the assemblies database you can see I have thousands of assemblies ready to go now with these items and assemblies I have my menu my menu finds whatever I need within items and within my assemblies database so if I wanted to locate an item, I can go into the menu to find what I'm looking for. And it is a tree view just like our labels. You will work from left to right. So let's find an item. We're going to find a device. Let's do a standard receptacle. As soon as I hit on the last part of the menu, it brings me directly to my receptacle header. And underneath my receptacle header, I can now pick which receptacle I would like to take off. So, we do have a third window here. It is your audit trail. Your audit trail records everything you do in takeoff. So takeoff is quite easy. Let's do some. We are now on our receptacles. My label is set to floor one lighting. What I'm going to do is we're going to do floor one power. And taking off is simple. All you do, you find what you're looking for in the database and you click on it, you pick which one you want. We are just going to pick this duplex 20 amp receptacle. I can choose what I'm looking for. I can simply click up into this box and I can put in my count. So I would like 15 of these duplex 20 amp receptacles. Now, as soon as I type that in, I can hit enter. And as you can see, it drops it down into my audit trail, almost like a shopping cart. And you can see kind of your shopping list of items that you've taken off. So what it shows is your quantity, how many did I take off, I or A, item or assembly, and the name of the item that you've taken off. So as you can see, I took off 15 of the item duplex 20 amp receptacle. So very easy. Let's continue on. Uh, if I wanted a, uh, let's see here, a stainless plate. I can click on Devices, Stainless Plate, Receptacle Plate. Here are my stainless steel plate. And I would like a one gang stainless steel plate. All I'd have to do is click on that plate and type in how many I would like. I would like 15 of these plates. Enter, drops it into my audit trail, and I am done. So very simple to do takeoff. Next, we have wire. We're going to put in some wire. So I just pick my wire, I would like copper, stranded, copper THHN stranded. Again, as soon as I hit that last option in the menu, it takes me directly to that part of the database. And now all I have to do is simply pick which size wire I would like, 12 THHN, I would like 200 feet, type it in, hit enter, and you are good to go. Now, one thing that you must realize is that it's much easier to do takeoff in McCormick. You do not have to click up into this box every time. McCormick recognizes which item you are on. So as soon as you click on an item, you simply can start typing, I want 150, and it will automatically put your length or count up in this box. So you do not have to click up into the box every single time. And again, I hit enter, it drops it down in my audit trail, and I am done with my takeoff. Remember, McCormick is auto save. So you, as soon as you see your takeoff hit this auto trail, you know that your bid is saved. So that is the basics of taking off an item. We're going to now take off some assemblies. But before I take off some assemblies, I am gonna show you basic data about the information we're looking at. So again, you can click on an item, and down here you have a review button. You can see the information about an item. So if I hit my review button, there you go. 
the window opens and I can see all the information about my 12THH engine. I can see the, the manufacturer, I can see the catalog number, I can see all the different prices, all the different labor, so on and so forth. Now, while we are in takeoff, we do not worry about price and labor. Price and labor is something that we choose when we get to number four. So when we get to number four, we will choose a price and a labor for this part of the job or for this job. And it's as simple as saying, I would like price one and bid labor, and it will apply your prices and labors to your takeoff. So in takeoff, we can view this, we can, we can see it, we can manipulate it, but we do not pick our price and labor quite yet. So items, very easy to do. You click on the item that you want, you type in how much you want, I want 500 feet, I hit enter, and it drops it down into my audit trail. This is basic takeoff. So far, very easy. Next, we're gonna be looking at assemblies, and assemblies are the same thing. We click on our assembly database. We have a nice, long assembly database. McCormick has created thousands of assemblies for you, and it's as simple as going through your menu to find what you're looking for. So again, let's look for an assembly. Let's look for that same thing, uh, a receptacle. Let's go devices, standard, receptacles. As I hit that last menu option, it brings me directly to my header. And let's pick a duplex. Now, taking off assemblies are the exact same. All you do, you click on the item, and you type in how many you want. So I would like 50 of the duplex assemblies, and it drops it down into my audit trail. Now, as you can see, it's a little different. Quantity 50, type IRA, A for assembly, duplex. So what does that mean? That means if I hit that magic review button on an assembly, I am going to get all of these parts and pieces. With this duplex, it will include the duplex, the plate, the box, the mud ring, ground screws, and box supports. So this is an assembly. An assembly is taking off a piece of equipment that includes all other items. So it's very easy to do. So when I count this duplex, I know I'm getting all that other information. Assemblies can be customized. We will show you in another video how to customize assemblies. Okay, let's take off some more. Let's go to Floor 2 Power. As I flip to Floor 2, you will notice your audit trail goes blank. Your audit trail, as long as your filter is set to all current labels, will follow your labels. So if I were to flip back to Floor 1, my takeoff is in the audit trail, still saved, ready to go. Let's go back to Floor 2. Okay, Floor 2 we are going to take off some branch. We're gonna take off some EMT. I can pick steel set screw. I want normal strap. Now I can pick which wire I would like in the EMT. I would like number 12. As soon as I click on the last one, as you can see, it now brings me to my number 12 EMT steel set screw strap category. And in this category, you could pick your number of wires. I would like two number 12s and half inch EMT three number 12s, four number 12s, five number 12s. You pick the amount of wires you would like, three number 12s and half inch EMT. Simply put in your quantity, I would like 5,000 feet, hit enter, it drops it down into your audit trail, and you know with McCormick Systems, this being a pre-built assembly, if I were to review this, you are going to get all of your wire, your pipe, couplings, connectors, straps, screws, washers, your takeoff is complete. So with assemblies, it makes your takeoff very, very fast, very easy. To get out of the review window, I can simply click on the assembly database and it will pull that window shut. And that means you are ready to go. Okay, so let's do a little bit more takeoff for lighting. Floor one lighting. We're going to do some devices, standard switches. I would like a single gang, single pole switch. I would like 20 of these. Here's a three gang, single pole switch. I would like 15 of these. And here's some combo switches. Uh, here's a single pole and a three way, two gang. And I would like 12 of these. 
So as you can see, with assemblies, takeoff is very, very quick, very easy, and simple to do. So that is the end of basic takeoff. Please proceed to video number four, which is extend to view pricing and labor options.